All right, good evening. I'm going to try a little, something a little bit different here. Um, this is to go over a quick trip that we took down to the Gulf Coast again in October, my wife and I. What you're looking at is a, a light pollution map of the world. It actually, it's, it's interactive. You can pull this out to look at whatever you want anywhere in the world. You can see there's a lot of places where there's no light pollution, but since I live down here in the southeast part of the country, over here, um, and all this area with the orange, the green, the yellow, this is a lot of light pollution. You can't see any stars here. Um, a lot of this stuff is way out in the county. Did a little bit of research, and there is a place down here on the Gulf Coast, where the pointer is, that it's quite dark. And if you do a little overlay, you can actually look at the map underneath it. There's East Point, Florida. And this runs up to, uh, there's a little island up here. Way out in the ocean, actually, just a little bit. It's called St. George Island. Where is it? The, there it is, right there. That is St. George Island and it's in a very dark place at night, you can actually see the Milky Way here. And this part of the island from about right there to the end is a state park. So there's no lights at night at all. And you can camp, let's see if I can find it. Probably not, oh, too much. But it's, you can actually go camping here, like just pitch a tent. And uh, like this area right in here. And I went hiking up in here. And I also went hiking up in this area. We had a condo down here that you could go walk on the beach and everything. And I've got some video of all this stuff. So um, let me go right to it. And um, there'll be links in the description if you wanted to go to this place yourself. It's pretty cool. Okay, here we are in the map room again. Um... This is just a holdover from the original intro. We went from the dark sky map on the computer. This is where we are. And we came down here to Apalachicola Bay off the coast of Florida, St. George Island. Got links in the description. Uh, it's a great trip. There is actually another dark sky site up here in Tennessee. This is only a couple hours, like two and a half hours from me. Except um, that's a camping trip. It's kind of a primitive camping area. And there's no way on earth I'd get my wife out there. So we're going to roll with it here. We've got uh, the first clip should be just a walk on the beach next to our condo. And then we're going to go take a look at the state park a little bit. And then another part on the state park where you could actually go where you'd go primitive camping. So to the videos. So here we are, are out on uh, St. George Island, and this is off the Florida Panhandle, across from Apalachicola. Just like Dauphin Island, pretty much. A little bit more expensive. Really nice sugar sand here. This is October, 
So the water's kind of cold, but it's not why we came out here this week. I came out here because this is a dark sky site. If you look past that building down on their edge, that's the last building before a state park that runs for another five miles. And there's no lights out there and no people. So the sky gets very dark out here at night and you can actually see the Milky Way. So really an unusual experience for me because I grew up in the city and the lights just totally ruin the, the stars at night, except here. It's one of the few places in the Southeast that I've found that you can actually see the night sky. And of course we got, this was the first day this week. Today is Friday. We actually got some clouds and rain. But I've been running out here every night looking at the night sky and pretty much goofing off in the park and running around taking my wife out to eat. Not swimming this week because, like I said, kind of chilly. They say uh, water temperature is 70, but I've not let it hit my groin, if you know what I mean. It's kind of cold. Anyway, very nice place to go to. Really expensive. A um, couple hundred dollars a night for these condos. There are places in uh, Apalachicola and uh, a couple other little towns there on the coast that are cheaper. And that is about a 10 minute ride from here on the car. So maybe half an hour car ride from the coast and you can get out to the state park. And it's totally dark at night. It's really nice. So, I don't know, bring your telescope if you're into that kind of thing. It's one of the few places that you can actually see the night sky. Okay, here we are, St. George Island Nature Trail. Got the RV parked back that way. We're gonna take a little hike out here to the primitive camping area. Because if I came back here again, this is where I would go. I believe it's about close to two miles, I think. It's gonna take a few minutes. But from the brochure the ranger gave me, looks like um, pretty much flat sand like this. No hassle. Okay, here we are at the turnoff. One and a half miles, and over there is campsite two, and over that way is campsite one. This goes to Apalachicola Bay, and this goes to, well, I don't know, the very tip of this peninsula. So I think that sounds more interesting. I think I'm going to follow that.
absolutely fabulous weather here. Ice cold water. <laughs> yeah, beautiful sugar sand. This is a state park. It costs six dollars to get in here. And you can bicycle and kayak on the back side of the island over there to the bay. Or you can fish or swim or bicycle or there's a nature trail a few miles back. Uh, this part of the island, the state park, is about 9-10 miles in length. And about 5 of that is inaccessible to vehicles, but you can walk. Just keep on walking to the end of wherever. I don't know, I really like this place. I'd like to come back here and go primitive camping. Because there are no lights at all out here. This will be the place to stargaze.